Heute geht es um die Geschichte der elite Baban und warum sie Clash Royale für zwei Jahre komplett zerstört haben. Fragt gerne Creator Core Big Spin für kostenfreien Support im Shop ein. Immer mehr von euch machen das. Kurs geht raus und wir gehen rein. Okay, let's go. Definitiv. Eine der einflussreichsten Karten, ja. Richtig, richtig. Das war, die elite Baban sind keine einfache Karte im Game. Nein, die elite Barbaren waren eine der wenigen wenigen Karten, die wirklich auch als Win-Condition genutzt wurden. Okay. Ja. Ja, das stimmt. Das stimmt. Die elite Barbaren haben wirklich, und das wissen auch die meisten nicht, einen geisteskrank großen Anteil daran, dass das Spiel gerade so gebalanced ist, wie es gebalanced wird. Ja. Their enormous impact on Clash Royale. Yeah. Okay. Elite barbarians derived from regular barbarians, which came from Clash yeah. of Clans. Obvious. In case you didn't know, leveling up troops in Clash of Clans changes the appearances of troops, unlike Clash Royale. Yeah. The elite barbarians' appearance is based off of the. It's actually crazy, ne? In Clash of Clans sind dieselben Truppen einfach nur geupgradet. Truppen wie in Clash of Clash Royale sind einfach so elite Barbaren, haben was ganz anderes. Das ist eigentlich verrückt, muss man sagen. But what makes an elite barbarian elite? Comparing its original stats to the Barbarians, <lacht> ja. it was one more elixir ja. and only had half the units the Barbarians had with ja. slightly more range, das war damage and health. Wirklich. They were really only slightly better than regular Barbarians ja. except for one critical stat. Der Their movement speed. Movement speed. Ja. Barbarians moved at a medium movement speed, but elite Barbarians moved at a very fast ja. movement speed. Richtig. This was their und das hat sie so gefühlt, das hat sie gefürchtet gemacht, dass sie einfach an der Brücke gesetzt werden konnten und auf diesem Turm draufrennen wie Geisterkranke. Feature, as it seems their intended purpose was to serve as a strong defense that could ja. transfer into a high pressure offensive counter push. This so card was leaked weeks before it came out and there were people who thought it would be good and others who thought It would be really bad, ja. which is das ist krass, weil damals gab es auch schon so Leaks und solche, sage ich mal, Expectations an die Karten und damals lag man tatsächlich noch falscher als teilweise heute. Notable because that happens with every leaked card. Ja. But when the card came out on November 25th, 2016, das they had quite a soft landing. Slightly buffed ja. stats and a faster movement speed was not enough justification for one additional elixir and half the ja. unit. They had die Karte kam raus und sie war Müll. Sie war im Prinzip komplett dead. Ja, keiner hat die Karte gezockt. Normale Barbaren waren viel besser. Much less DPS than regular barbarians and couldn't form a good wall like barbarians could. Yeah. And it wasn't like at the time the elite barbarians had the advantage of being able to survive a fireball because barbarians could survive a fireball as well. No, However, elite barbarians could survive a lightning, so I suppose that's one advantage. Yeah, okay. Much else to say Barbaren about überleben auch ein Lightning, ein Barbaren überleben auch ein Lightning. Time because nobody was really using it. In the top 100 finishing yeah. decks for November 2016, elite barbarians unsurprisingly appeared in zero of them. Das ist krass, dass er aber die Statistik noch hat. Das Video ist vor einem Jahr rausgekommen, und er meint, er weiß einfach, dass damals in 2016 in Top 100 in dieser Season keine e waren. Also das ist wild, woher die Stats hat. Die waren bad. wirklich schlecht. Okay. Die waren New wirklich schlecht damals. Ever released perfectly balanced. Ja. With the December Update just around the corner, balance changes would come with it. Und, Und das war gestört. Diese Balance-Änderung haben alles, haben diese Karte komplett über den Haufen geworfen. Die Barbarians were certainly not forgotten. They were given three different buffs in this one balance change. First was a health buff of 19%. Und da, und an dieser Stelle muss jedem Einzelnen auffallen. Da hätte Superset schon auffallen müssen, dass es das nicht ist. Du kannst dich eine Karte um 19% buffen. WTF. Pretty big health buff. There weren't ja. any major interaction changes due to the health change, but it did allow them to survive one extra hit from das a variety of cards. Das komplett the other gestört. Two were a damage buff of 14%. Schaut euch das an. 19% Leben, 14% Damage. WTF. The hit speed buff of 0.1 seconds. Das ist crazy. Die haben alle drei Cores jetzt aus dem Game gebufft bekommen in einem einzigen Patch. A variety of cards with one less hit, but also able to one shot archers. Schaut euch das an. Das ist heutzutage. Wenn irgendwer von Supercell heutzutage auf die Idee kommen würde, eine Karte so zu buffen, die Leute würden Sturm rennen dagegen, ja? Das ist völlig gestört, was sich damals Supercell als Balancing erlaubt hat. Und da muss man wirklich sagen, heute gibt es auch einige Karten, die krass zu stark sind und die krass oder teilweise auch zu schwach sind, aber so eine Änderung auf einmal würde, glaube ich, Supercell nie im Leben mehr machen. Das war ein geisterkranker Buff. Und ab da war geisterkrank. Wirklich.
Elite Barbarians are ridiculous. What yeah. might have been the worst card in the game before the update came out is now one of the strongest. Yeah. No so is it. There it is. Zap Schaut euch das an. Schaut euch das done. einfach oh, an. Oh, it could have been a fantastic, actually. Oh, okay, never mind. Do that, actually, because the barbs ja. were only counter to the elite barbs, and so now we did. Es ist gestört gewesen. Take a look at the elite Wirklich. barbarians in the left-hand lane. I dropped the elite barbarians because I knew he invested way too ja. much in the right-hand lane, and the elite barbarians by themselves, plus I guess an archer shot or two, are gonna take out the Die tower. Alles. Völlig well, gestört. Guckt euch das an. Die ganzen over. YouTuber haben das damals schon aufgehypt. Und ich glaube, das hat den Effekt noch mal ganz krass beschleunigt, dass auf einmal jeder die elite Barbaren gespielt hat. Vor allem natürlich, aber ich denke, da wird er auch drauf zu sprechen kommen, weil es eine gewöhnliche Karte war. Schau euch das an. Schaut euch das an. Ich kann mich daran erinnern, wir haben mit Shimex den Tornado zum ersten Mal gespielt und er hat den King Tower deaktiviert mit den Elite Barbaren. We run towards the tower, and now we have double elite barbarians, a hog rider, and some archers. Yeah. And this game is over. Within Krank. just days of this buff, this card went from having a 0% use rate in top ladder to a 33% yeah. yeah. use rate. Ihr müsst euch vorstellen, 33% haben die elite Barbaren genutzt. Und die elite Barbaren, das sind eigentlich so kein Little Prince irgendwie, den du in jedes Deck random klatschen kannst. Oder ein Poison oder so. Das ist einfach eine 6 elixier karte die wirklich auch teuer und impactful ist. Das ist crazy. Eine 33% Nutzkraft ist crazy. Ja, definitiv. Richtig. Das Game war unter einem Jahr alt. Und ihr müsst euch vorstellen, elite waren sind ja heutzutage noch eine Truppe, die viele Leute überfordern. Gerade wegen ihres Movement Speed ist diese Karte unfassbar heftig, auch natürlich schwer zu verteidigen für Casuals, die einfach auf dem Klo sitzen irgendwie. Da kommen die Elite Barbaren Brücke randoms paniken und deswegen ist es noch was ganz anderes als overpowered Karten heutzutage, weil die kannst du an der Brücke setzen und sie haben den ganzen Turm bekommen. Mit ihrem Movespeed auch. Das ist crazy. Ja, Royal Giant auch. Die Elite Barbarians waren overpowered, als sie alle über die Ladder und in kompetitiven Spiel wurden. Wenn du in der Mitte warst, war es so viel schlimmer. Und das ist, wo ein tiefer Problem mit den Elite Barbarians ja. Die Elite Barbaren haben das Spiel seit ihrem Buff 2016 bis Ende 2018 zerstört. Und dann kam eine Änderung, aber ich denke, ihr geht darauf ein. Ihr müsst euch vorstellen, die Karte war gewöhnlich, okay? Jeder konnte sie easy maxen, weil es damals noch keine Joker und sowas gab, waren die gewöhnlichen Karten die am leichtesten zu maxenden Karten. Und overlevelte Mitleider-Spieler, die schlecht waren, aber overlevelt waren mit diesen Karten, waren die Hölle. Incredibly easy to level up compared genau. to any other rarity Sagt because auch, ja. you got way more of them out of chests proportional to how many you needed to level a card up than ja. other rarities. And with requests, you were able to request 40 commons up to ja. three times a day, unlike epics where you could only request four per week and legendaries not at all. You genau could so also request four rares three times a day, but four rares was almost nothing when it came to making progress to leveling ja. out rare cards. Just das war wirklich ein Problem damals. At the time, if you requested a common card three times a day from unlocking it to maxing it out, it would take about 80 days to max it out. And if you did the same for rare cards, it would take about 215 days. Ja. And besides requesting, there was really no way to control which cards you got, making das it especially hard to level up cards of specific rarities besides commons and rares. Because of this disparity between rarities, it wasn't uncommon to see level 13 commons going against cards of other rarities two ja. or even three levels below them on the level scale. This led to many unintended interactions such as elite barbarians surviving three hits from a P.E.K.K.A. instead of two or even surviving a rocket. Ja. Without a high or max level deck, these guys were simply unsafe. Unstoppable. And there were two cards commonly paired with the E-Barbs, enhancing their power further. Royal Giant and Rage. And it's not what you're thinking. Ah, that's good. Out. Cards were the Ice Golem and the Zap. Of okay. Ice Golem and Zap. A card like Elite Barbar ich dachte eigentlich jetzt wirklich Royal Giant und Rage. Also das sind eigentlich dann die, das waren dann die Truppen, die danach kamen, aber okay, Ice Cream Zap. Gut, natürlich fair für eine Skami, habe ich jetzt nicht mehr so im Kopf, weil ich halt nie im Mittler war da, aber macht Sinn. Ja. Barbarians could counter it well on its own, so to counter the counter, elite Barbarian players would almost always carry a Zap to instantly get rid of skeletons. Zap auf jeden Fall, aber Rage war ja effektiv das gleiche, ne? Aber Rage hat drei gekostet, ne? Ja. Zap war damals geisterkrank, bis sie gesagt haben, okay... 
Kobolde überleben den Sepp. Dann ging's. Dann wurde das Log viel gespielt. Ja, genau so. Da hat man's gesehen. Well, ja, als Golem war Oryx sehr stark, ja. Really versatile, Stimmt, du hättest ja keinen Damage gemacht. Richtig, ich hab recht. Stimmt, du hättest ja ein kompletter Troll. Season, thanks to the crazy. elite barbarians, as the meta was now circulating around them. At top ladder, these were the two most popular decks with a. Das war crazy. Guckt euch, ich kann mich an das erste Deck. Oh mein Gott, ich kann mich an beide erinnern. An beide kann ich mich erinnern, Alter. Royal Giant Ofen, damals unfassbar stark in der Meta und auch generell Schweinereiter mit diesem Mega Mini, natürlich Mega Mini unfassbar stark und einfach nur diese Schweinereiter, einfach nur mit Zeige, mit Holz, Sepp. Das ist war crazy. Ich weiß nicht, ob Max darüber auch mal ein Video gemacht hat, aber diese Decks, jetzt kann ich mich auch entsinnen, es war wirklich einfach nur Madness. Damals war ich schon in den GCs drin und als diese Decks kamen, es war eine absolute Seuche. Barbarians shortly after the buff. By the end of December, Elite Barbarians had settled to having a 22% use rate in Top 100 Ladder. Krank, By das now, ist so Royal viel. Giant and Giant were seeing a lot less usage. Three Musketeers were also popping up more often alongside the Elite Barbarians in Top Ladder quite a bit. Ja. But Hog Rider was the most popular win condition by far to ja. appear alongside ist ja auch irgendwie klar, ne? Weil einen Giant und einen Royal Giant kannst du halt nicht mit 10 Links hier an die Brücke spammen. Royal Giant, oder besser gesagt, Elite bewahren und den Schweinereiter halt schon, ne? Hog Rider war just a very powerful card that Supercell for some reason was just very reluctant to nerf. Ja. And Hog Rider actually had a slightly higher usage rate than Krank. Elite Barbarian. 24% now, für den Hog, das ist heftig. Popular win condition in competitive play. The Hog Rider Elite Barbarian with Ice Golem Combo just had unmatched tempo that was practically ja. unstoppable unless you had great reflexes and a perfect defense. Ja. This was a pretty miserable unbalanced meta as you could imagine by the ja. end of december there were only 70 cards in the game and 26 ja. of them so absolutely zero usage in okay das ist heftig guckt euch mal die karten an keine hexe kein baby dragon kein eismagier damals die karten wurden alle dann über die zeit irgendwie gebufft kein tesla sogar der tesla wurde nicht genutzt ich meine klar damals war das game noch ganz anders aber allein das zu sehen 26 von 70 karten die meta war dann super einfällig zu dem zeitpunkt 100 ladder by the end of the season and even ja. though elite barbarians were ranked number 14 in terms of use rate players really felt like they were seeing them ja, more 100%. and that was probably because people were seeing them more the stats i'm talking about is just a small subsection of one of the more competitive areas of richtig the game. genau This das ist Top 100. Aber ihr müsst euch vorstellen, wie viele Spieler dann in Midländer diese Taktiken gesehen haben oder davon auf die Fresse bekommen haben, dann adaptiert haben und gesagt haben, okay, jetzt max ich Elite Barbaren und damals hat es noch deutlich länger gedauert, eine Karte aufs maximale Level zu bringen, als in als jetzt zum Beispiel, es gab keine Joker und so weiter. Heißt, wenn du damals die Elite Barbaren gemaxt hattest, dann hast du die dein Leben lang gespielt. Da führte kein Weg dran vorbei. Damals gab es wirklich einen krassen Unterschied. Also heutzutage gibt es den auch noch. Heutzutage gibt es auch viele Random Decks in Midländer, aber heutzutage gibt es tendenziell eher Spieler, die auch vielleicht das ein oder andere Deck mal so switchen können und ein paar Karten austauschen können. Damals hieß es wirklich nur, Max deine elite Barbaren, Max vielleicht doch dein Royal Giant und dann geh einfach ins Match. Dream. Overpowered, easy to play, ja. fun to play and easy to level up. Not Mann. to mention it was a great counter to the Royal Giant and the Hog Rider, which were the most popular win conditions in Midländer. Ja. Royal Giant was suffering in competitive play due to the Elite Barbarians, but was still thriving in Midländer, despite Elite Barbarians being much Guck, more popular. Das an, ne? Royal Giant einfach. Eine Reichweite bis nach Timbuktu. Geistkrank. Und Royal Giant ist eigentlich notable in der Konversation von Elite Barbarians, weil sie viel in common hatten. Sie waren beide 6 Elixir Common Cards. Richtig, beide 6 Elixir Common Win Conditions, die so easy maxen konnten und die Overlevel komplett broken waren. Fairly easy to play. The Royal ja. Giant was in a position where it was below average in competitive play now, appearing in just 4% of top ladder decks. Ja. This was a huge drop from the 15% of decks that had appeared in the month before Elite Barbarians got their ja. big buff. When we take a look at the stats from earlier in the year from when Royal Giant was over Overpowered. It was being used in about 30% of mid to lower das ladder ist krank. Mai 2016 und da war die Karte richtig bust, weil sie so eine unfassbare Reichweite hatte. Damals habe ich tatsächlich mit Trimax, als er angefangen hat zu streamen, da war ich noch nie im Call, also mit ihm habe ich ein Turnier, so ein 5 Euro iTunes Card Turnier gegen gezockt und im Finale habe ich mit Hawk Inferno Turm 
und Kanone trotzdem gegen Royal Giant verloren, weil ich Inferno Tom First Play gemacht habe und der Royal Giant einfach outranged hat. Komplett bescheuert. Das war Royal Giant was the first card to show a massive disparity in the different environments and ja. only barbarians were heading down that same path. Genau. Royal Giant und Elite Barbaren, so ähnlich wie die Crackerin heutzutage. Zwei Karten, die mit Leather komplett alles auseinandernehmen, weil sie einfach einfach zu spielen, schwer loszuwerden und ultra krass zu overleveln sind. Most players didn't choose between one or the other as the Royal Giant Elite Barbarians actually become a very popular combo ja, during richtig. December 2016 in Casual Ladder. Ja, With how genau. strong and easy it was to play these cards when overleveled, it was a priority for most players to level these cards up as it was practically required to survive in the mid ladder environment. Ja. If you weren't using these cards at the time, you had to have a deck specifically to counter them or else you ja. wouldn't have a chance. Another genau. combo I can't skip over because of how notable it was was the Elite Barbarians Rage Combo. Making this ja. already fast card ja, even ja, fast ja. almost zero reaction. Kann er keiner deffen. Und du kannst auch keinen Vorwurf machen, dass es keiner deffen konnte, weil der mittlerer Manfred, der halt auf dem Klo sitzt und einfach mal ganz entspannt der Strahl zocken will, da muss ich die Leute auch mal in Schutz nehmen. Bro, wie willst du halt die Hitler Barbaren Rage Brücke? Da hast du doch direkt keinen Bock mehr. Time to the Defender. Without perfect defense, these menaces with the purple toxin could wipe out your tower within seconds of being placed at the bridge. Yeah. And this is how elite barbarians in the mid ladder environment were so primarily being played. They were being used as a win condition, not a defensive card to turn into a counter push. Even yeah. though the rage spell was an epic card, it was not level dependent like most cards. Richtig, meaning genau. you would always get about ja. the same amount of value. Du wusstest den Wutz aber gar nicht leveln und deswegen war er auch wieder extrem free to play for this. Rage also got a buff just a few weeks before the elite barbarians were introduced and That was not great timing. Nee. And I don't want to get this confused. <laughs> this was certainly not a competitively viable combo as Rage had absolutely zero usage in the highest competitive genau. environment and was considered to be one of the worst cards in the game. But the Elite Barbarians with Royal Giant combo and Es waren niemals diese Taktiken und das ist das krasse. Ich zum Beispiel habe damals nie so was davon mitbekommen, dass das ein Problem sein könnte. Aber weil es in Midladder halt ganz anders war und weil die Spieler teilweise halt einfach das Niveau da noch gar nicht hatten, geschweige denn die Kartenlevel, da hat es halt wirklich so gekracht in der Zeit. Und ich habe auch immer wieder ultra viele Kommentare gelesen, die ich aber nie so verstanden habe, weil ich mich da nicht reinversetzen konnte, wie es da war. Heutzutage mit einem größeren Blick sehe ich das natürlich. Ja, genau so, genau so. Mega Ritter, vergesst Mega Ritter, vergesst den Elektro Giant. Das war die Seuche. Five minutes in the game during the December 2016 era. If you ja. think mid ladder is rough today, you could not imagine how bad it used to be. Ja. I say this with 100% certainty that this era was the most toxic and frustrating time to be a casual mid ladder player in ja. all of Clash Royale history. So But despite the problem with over leveling, elite barbarians were also thriving heavily in competitive play, meaning it wasn't really a debate of whether or not they needed a nerf, they certainly did need a nerf. For a card that was so game breaking and so toxic, it could even be argued an emergency nerf could be just. Das Ding ist halt damals war das große Problem, die ganzen top ladder spieler an denen sich auch die Balances natürlich orientiert haben, die ganzen YouTuber, die einigermaßen gut im Game waren, die auch Max waren und so weiter, die haben nie das Problem thematisiert, weil es für sie kein Problem war. Aber in mid war es halt ein riesengroßes Problem. Und wenn du deine Balance-Änderungen halt danach ausrichtest, was die Pros wollen, dann kommst du nicht immer darauf, was wirklich in mid sage ich mal, genervt werden muss. Und genau das war halt ein riesengroßes Problem zu der Zeit. Weil Elite waren Royal Giant, waren eigentlich überhaupt nicht stark, die waren Müll. Aber trotzdem, weil die Kombination so einfach und so einfach zu overleveln war, haben sie mit Leder gebastelt. Justified. But this was 2016. There was no such thing as an ja. emergency nerf. Richtig. A card genau. had never really been broken on this level before, disrupting the health of the meta so greatly, ja. except for one mal. card, the Royal Giant, who had about the same usage rate as Elite Barbarians during its peak. And on top of that, there were no scheduled balance changes, unlike today, where we know exactly when balance changes ja. are coming. Alle Players complained Monate. and begged for Elite Barbarian nerfs for weeks and weeks, unsure when the graceful nerf hammer would relieve them from this mid ladder hellscape. Over one month after this unprecedented buff with the Elite Barbarians controlling the meta for five weeks. Damals waren sie, das ist ja das Krasse, wir sind noch an dem Zeitpunkt, an dem die Elite Barbaren auch noch im top Ladder gezockt wurden. Zwar nicht mit Royal Giant und Rage, aber damals wurden sie noch im top Ladder gezockt. Das heißt, damals waren sie sogar noch overall stark, aber dann wurden sie genervt. Die balance changes would finally be announced to go live at the end of January 2017. Ja. And Elite Barbarians were right at the top of the list, receiving a ja. nerf just as harsh as the previous buff was generous. Their hit speed would be reverted back to 1.5 seconds, as well as nerfing its damage and health. 
The biggest ja. interaction change was now that a mini Pekka would survive five elite barbarian. Das war schon mal ein ordentlicher Nerf, ja. Instead of four, allowing it to fully counter them with the assistance of the tower. This was a pretty harsh nerf, but the card was definitely in need of a big nerf and some more counter options to get it closer to that healthy range of intended use. This ja. nerf was just about what the card needed to make it balanced in competitive play. If it wasn't for some other Ganz major genau. changes that came in the same set of balance changes. Zab and Log, which were both very popular cards, received nerfs, leading to spell bait decks becoming quite popular. Ja. You we're also seeing more mini Pekka, Prince, and Skeleton Army, which were all solid counters against the Elite Duo. Ja. And Goblins were more effective against Elite Barbarians. Das heißt, die haben alle Konter gegen Elite Barbaren gebufft und die Elite Barbaren selber genervt. Wer hätte gedacht, was dann passiert? They couldn't just be zapped away anymore. With all of these factors, Elite Barbarians dropped to just a 3% usage rate in ja. Top 100 Ladder Play, falling to Jetzt kommt aber das Problem, ja? 0% after the release of the Executioner just a few days later. Elite Henker kommt rein und das Problem ist, die Elite Barbaren werden trotzdem von den Mitleiderspielern gespielt, weil die Elite Barbaren waren broken. Alle Mitleiderspieler maxen die Karte, weil die halt auch nicht checken, dass Balance Änderungen kommen. Und natürlich spammen die da trotzdem die Elite Barbaren. Ist ja von meiner heutigen Perspektive super offensichtlich. Die Karte ist zwar ultra schlecht für Pros, aber in Mitleider haben die Leute die halt gemaxt und werden sie trotzdem noch die ganze Zeit spammen, egal wie schlecht die Karte auch sein mag. Barbarians were no longer considered competitively viable, but because ja. of its common status and newcomer appeal, it was still very popular in the Richtig. mid -ladder range. Genau. As people leveled them up, the use rates only continued to rise and the complaints corresponded with it. Any ja. post or video Supercell posted was flooded with comments of people ja. asking for a leap. Und hier genau ist das Problem, ja? Elite Barbaren sind zwar nicht unfassbar stark gewesen, die waren schlecht sogar, aber sie waren halt auch gleichzeitig eben ja in Mitleider omnipräsent. Barbarian and Royal Giant nerfs. You might notice that I keep bringing up the Royal Giant quite a bit, and that's because I really can't talk about the Elite Barbarians, especially in the early stages, without bringing up this card because they ja. were just so synonymous with each other. Hat Royal recht, Giant ja. was actually pretty balanced in competitive play in January 2017, whereas Elite Barbarians sucked in competitive play, ja. but both cards were insane in mid ladder because of how easy they were to overlevel and dominate with. This was a unique problem that had not been an issue until these two cards came along. Nerfing Elite Barbarians didn't make sense because they sucked on a competitive level. Ja, However, genau. them being played so much on ladder at the same time could justify a nerf. There were two more ja. sets of balance changes in February and March of that year and Elite Barbarians... Ich weiß noch genau, was sie gemacht haben, aber das müsste erst in 2019 gewinnen sein. Ich will jetzt noch nicht spoilern, was sie gemacht haben, aber sie haben eine five head lösung gebracht. Das war Runham damals, Seth, und Seth hat damals wirklich gekocht. Der hat den Meisterkoch ausgepackt, um dieses Problem zu lösen. Barbarians and Royal Giants had not been included in the balance changes in both instances which only increased the frustration. A ja. lot of players just didn't take the competitive scene into account. It wasn't widely understood Klar, that normal. mid and high ladder were practically two different metas and Supercell ja. was struggling to find the right balance. Ist ja auch klar, ja, mid ladder ist halt anders und das Ding ist, die Leute beschweren sich halt auch nicht darüber, dass die Karten OP sind und zumindest haben sie sich darüber nicht so beschwert, sondern sie haben sich darüber beschwert, dass deutlich, ganz offensichtlich deutlich schlechtere Spieler, ja, Einfach mit den overlevelten Karten, mit diesen beiden overlevelten Karten, gute, unterlevelte Spieler einfach gatekeepen. Also, dass du einfach überhaupt nicht da durch kannst, weil die ganze Zeit schlechtere Spieler mit heillos overlevelten, an sich aber schlechten Karten dich komplett niederrennen. Und das war das Problem. April 15, 2017, Supercell would put out an episode of Radio Royale, where one of the main topics of discussion was the Elite Barbarian and Royal Giant ja. problem. This is where they mainly talked about the problems I've already discussed in the video in regards to those cards. They are actually like highly used only at a certain trophy range. Roughly 3500. Ja, man kenne ich noch, wie hieß der? Wie hieß der, der es gesagt hat, der Blonde? 5000. At that level, they are used quite a lot. Uh, yeah. to the point that it's actually quite unhealthy. Both the Royal Giant and the Elite Barbarians are used way below average in the top 100. It's easier yeah. to upgrade these cards because they're commons, so Richtig. that makes them more appealing for many players. Is the problem really with the game economy? Or is it with the cards themselves? The economy ja. was a long-standing issue well known by many players at this point. Ich glaube, es war die Economy, meine Freunde. So this led to creative potential solutions. One idea was to change the cards rarity to rare so that they would be harder to level up. We were thinking for example about changing the rarities of these two cards. Das wäre auch richtig übel, ich vor die ändern die Monik, die ändern die Seltenheit von der Karte, um dann am Ende einfach die Leute zu bevorteilen, die die Karte schon 15 oder Level 13 damals gebracht haben. Das wäre ja auch komplett Banane gewesen. Das ist quite complex. 
So what if we would change them to rares? If we change a max level card to a max level card, nothing really changes. And if we would make the conversion relative, we would actually downgrade the Royal Giants and Elite Barbians, and that would be quite nasty. Capping card levels was also a potential idea. Another thing that we've explored is capping cards at king level. The idea would be that you can't use cards that are higher level than your king. Might have made sense if that would have been yeah. done from the beginning of the game, but to this established live game, that's pretty tricky. Ja, stimmt schon. Ne? Stell dir vor, du hast Level 13 Karten in King Tower Level 10 und du kannst die Level 13 Karten nur auf Level 10 spielen. Also es ist schon, es war schon schwierig für Super Saiyan eine gescheite Lösung zu finden. Stimmt. I feel that maybe that sort of change might mean that players get stuck if we were to cap the levels of cards. You can no longer progress with those cards in the game, so you have to rely on your skill. I'm not really sure why they phrased a player needing skill to progress to be a problem, as it seems like that's what you would want, but I guess Supercell was a little more mask off in 2017. Yeah. Regardless of their reasoning, though, level caps would be difficult and frustrating to implement over a year into the game's lifespan for a variety of reasons. Supercell definitely learned their lesson about accounting for overleveling common cards from the Elite Barbarians, but all their possible solutions stemmed from an issue that couldn't really be changed without causing more problems. This yeah, left them with seemingly only one solution to nerf the elite barbarians once again das ist zwar eine gute, an sich eine gute Sache, aber das Problem ist, wenn sie die Superbauer nochmal nerven, dann ändert sich, wie gesagt, das Problem nicht. Und das hat Supercell damals nicht gesehen. This Radio Royale episode was actually the official announcement of the Elite Barbarian Nerf, of which they said they would be nerfing the first hit attack time by 0.1 seconds and nerfing the health again by 4%. Das many krass. players were happy to see this nerf, but many were shocked to see the nerf seemed so small. I think the nerf was just for show purely meant to appease the player base. And I don't blame Supercell. A small nerf wasn't going to solve the underlying issue with this card and they clearly knew that. It was yeah. already not being used in competitive play, so you might as well make the lower ladder player's game experience a little better in the meantime while yeah. you work on a proper fix. And with Smart. this nerf, the Elite Barbarians would not receive any more changes for the rest of 2017. Yeah. And they would continue to be a mid ladder menace while receiving no more play in the competitive scene. Aber das ist halt das Problem. Man muss sich damals vorstellen, wenn die Spieler, die die elite waren, sowieso immer spielen, die ihr Deck eh nicht ändern. Superstar hat zu diesem Zeitpunkt gefühlt einfach noch nicht gerafft, dass die Leute ihr Deck eh nicht ändern. Egal was passiert. Diese Mitländerspieler, die den anderen auf den Senkel gehen, ändern Deck eh nicht. Da passiert nichts, ja? Und indem du die Karte nervst, werden diese Spieler nur immer weiter durchgereicht, bis sie irgendwann dann auf so eine Trophäe Höhe Stacks sind, wo wahrscheinlich dann eben noch unterleveltere Spieler am Start sind, die sie noch weiter die eigentlich Ambitionen haben, die auch geistig besser drauf sind, die diese overlevelten elite bewahren spieler dann noch mehr stompen. Das went on, but that does not mean they were gone from people's minds. Throughout 2017, they remained to be a very controversial card. By ja. September 2018, Elite Barbarians had still not received any more changes. And ja. now it had been over a year since their last change. Das ist crazy. In fact, the Royal Giant received its previous change at the same time as the Elite Barbarians and also had not been changed since then. Ja. I'm bringing up the Royal Giant again because these cards were in the same category. And Seth, who was the head of balancing said that a royal giant rework would be coming in an interview and explained why they would be reworking royal giant but not elite barbarians quite yet we are currently working on a royal giant i don't want to say buff its use rates uh in challenges and its win rates and challenges are uh, really abysmal like they're not where you want them to be yeah, for a win condition and it's even it's on ladder even though royal giant is typically thought of as, a, as like a ladder terror there's only one gap 4,000 to 4,500, where Royal Giants even meet an average use rate. In every other section of the ladder, they are below average use rate, not a particularly strong card. Elite Barbs are in a little bit of a different spot because even though they are also not very good in challenges, they are very popular on the ladder. Elite Barbarians are one of the top 10 most popular troops on the ladder and actually I think one of the top 5 or 10 hot, like, most popular cards to upgrade. The das war krass. Royal Giant war dann gar nicht mehr so krass, aber der um, Elite Barber, die Elite Barber waren trotzdem noch krass genutzt. Popular, there's less um, desire to go out and find a way to buff them. He then went on to explain the problem with the game's economy causing elite barbarians to be in this state and talked about changes in the game's economy that would fix it. Supercell would add a ton of changes to help fix the economy over the years. Und das war so wichtig, ne? Magic Items haben dieses ganze Ding wirklich auseinandergenommen. Das ist so wichtig, diese Magic Items waren der Game Changer. This interview was trade tokens. But even with these recent improvements, Royal Giant would go on to have a very successful rework while elite barbarians were left in the dust. Yeah. By 2019, elite barbarians had just dipped to having the lowest win rate in competitive play that they had ever had. Die niedrigste in Siegesrate. In March 2019, Krank. Seth would be asked about the Elite Barbarians once again. E-Barbs. 
They haven't been touched in two years. Elite Barbarians were going to be changed in this balance update. They ended up getting cut in the final edit, the final uh, change down. We do have a, a, a change in testing that we've been playing with. And like, and I think there is a meaningful uh, sort of rework buff to Elite Barbarians that will make them good in competitive play and hopefully balanced on the ladder. And we were so excited about the Barbarians change and some of the other changes are, that are in this balance update that we didn't want to take the focus away from that with the Elite Barbarians change. I don't want to sound rude, but holding off a balance change simply to not take away hype from other balance changes seemed like a terrible reason to hold off a balance yeah. change. Balance changes are just meant to balance. Ist durchaus eine game. sehr, sehr kontroverse Sache. Warum sollte man die Meta bewusst nicht ändern, damit eine andere Karte im Spotter steht, weiß ich nicht. Something ready, it should be implemented at the next scheduled balance change so the game can be in the most balanced state possible. That is just an opinion though. This must have been a big major rework if they really thought it was going to generate a lot of hype. In fact, it skipped the next two balance changes as well. Three months after this interview in June 2019, the Elite Barbarians ja. would finally receive their... Und hier kam es. Und das war das Kranke. Da hat nämlich Seth gesagt, yo, genau das, was ich auch gerade gesagt habe. Die ganzen Mitgliederspieler spielen elite barbaren nur, weil sie die Max haben und sind damit natürlich unfassbar nervig für die Leute, die wirklich Ambitionen haben. Dann haben sie die elite barbaren glaube ich, relativ krass gebufft, wenn das damals so war, um zu sagen, okay... Dann sollen diese Spieler mit den Elite Barbaren, weil die auf einmal so gut sind, raus aus dieser Mittlerhölle kommen, um den Spielern dort nicht mehr auf den Senke zu gehen und das Ganze in der Mitte zu entlasten und sozusagen den Spielern ohne E-Buffs mehr Freiräume zu geben, nach oben zu pushen. Das war die Argumentation. Long overdue rework. Their damage would be increased by 18%, ja. coming at the cost of their hit speed being increased by 0.2 seconds. The point of this was to allow them to two shot fireball leaves while allowing swarms to be a more effective counter to them. This rework just did not seem that significant to me. This is what Supercell could come up with after two years? It practically made no difference in the card's performance. Another rework was clearly needed. Ich glaube However, schon, dass es eine Performance in, den, in der in der Newswelt gemacht hat. Ich kann mich daran erinnern, dass es so war. Supercell wouldn't do anything for this card for the rest of 2019. Besides increasing the range to keep ich kann mich sehr, sehr gut erinnern, dass das schon was gebracht hat, gerade auch mit diesem Trophy Road Re 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 Rework. Das hat schon, ich glaube, das hat schon gewisse Entlastungen gegeben, to be honest. With the new melee range system. But they did do something else shocking in regards to the Elite Barbarians that implied Supercell may have been intending to delete the Elite Barbarians from the game entirely. New cards would get a video on the Clash Royale YouTube channel upon release to advertise them. And out of nowhere, in December 2019, Supercell would take down the Elite Barbarian introduction video from all their social media, something they had never done What? before. Okay, There was no was word as to the reason why, and players became very suspicious. Save Elite Barbarians. Save the Elite Barb! They're whitewashing the past, as if the Elite Barbarians never existed. Save! The Elite Barbarians. Hey, was höre ich denn? Das habe ich ja noch nie gehört. The Elite Barbarians. What else is the point of even having Rage in the game if not for Raging Elite Barbarians? Please save them. Deleting a card from Clash Royale is something Supercell had never done before, which made it seem unlikely that they would start now. But Elite Barbarians had never been healthy for the game since the day they were released, so who knew what they were thinking? Obviously, the Elite Barbarians are still here today, but we never got an explanation as to why they took down the video, and it seemed weird that deleting the card didn't seem out of the question as deleting a card would be an iconic event. Moving into 2020, Seth put out an interesting poll in February on Twitter with four possible reworks for the Elite Barbarians. Okay, was ist das? Another Fun Poll. Da hat Zef gekocht. Als Zef gekocht hat, Freunde, da wurde es wild. Zef hat gefühlt immer Bellens Schönes gewürfelt, aber es war geil. Another Fun Poll. Wie würdet ihr elite Barbaren reworken? Drei elite Barbaren auf 8 Elixier, ein elite Barbar auf 3 Elixier. Speed Down, Rage Unit oder Speed Down, Stats Buffed, okay? The winner of the poll was making the Elite Barbarians into the Elite Barbarian and reducing it to three elixir. This obviously never happened, but this poll made one thing clear. People did not want the speed of the Elite Barbarians ja, to be richtig, changed. Genau. As that was the thing Elite Barbarian ja, players enjoyed. Das wollte keiner. Das hat zwar alle genervt, aber die, die es gespielt haben, wollte es keiner. But as time went on, it seemed like the only viable solution to fix this card once and for all was to lower the movement speed. Ja, richtig, the next genau. month, Seth put out another ja. poll asking which card players would prefer to see reworked in the next month. Elite Barbarians Sie wollten Fischer! Option, Sie wollten Fischer reworked, der kann doch erst raus! Win. 
However, the poll seemed to be meaningless as the choice with the least amount of votes ended up getting the rework. But this was telling that players just weren't that eager about a potential Elite Barbarian rework. I brought up these polls yeah. just so you could kind of see how the community was thinking at this time. At this point, Elite Barbarians almost just seemed forgotten about by the community. A few months later though, they actually got a small nerf in June which was a very small stagger deploy time change. This was done to old cards that spawned in pairs for consistency. It wouldn't be until November 2020 where the Elite Barbarians would get yet another rework oh, for the November Elite Barbarians 20, movement 20. speed would be toned down from very fast to just fast. Yeah. Its most prominent feature was no more. To compensate for this massive downgrade, wichtig. their hit speed would be reverted back to 1.5 seconds as well as war wichtig. Speed Diese Änderung war on wichtig. top of health and damage increases. In total, this turned out to be a 20% DPS increase. This change did not extract positive comments from the community, but when it was applied at first, it seemed like the card was doing alright. This yeah. bridge spam deck also began to trend for a little bit. It Richtig. seemed like the Elite Barbarians were finally in a healthy spot, at least in competitive. Das war, das war das Beste, was sie right. machen können. But by the next month, the rates dropped right back down. But having toned down their obnoxiously fast movement speed, it was safer Richtig. to bump this sie waren nicht mehr so nervig. After giving this card a yeah. few months to settle in, Supercell would finally decide to balance it again on March 30th, 2021. They would get a small hit speed buff from 1.5 seconds to 1.4 seconds and a first hit speed buff from 0.5 seconds to 0.4 seconds. Dies wusste ich noch gar nicht. Die haben die Karten noch 2021 gebufft. No major interaction changes, but a buff is a buff. But nobody could predict just how significant this buff really was. Right before this buff, this card sat at a 1% use rate and a 35% win rate in grand challenges and within the first few days of this buff, peaked at a 42% use rate and a 58% win rate. Okay, das ist crazy. Das wusste ich gar nicht. Daran kann ich mich gar nicht erinnern. Aber ich glaube, da wurden die noch Emerges nerfed, oder? Easily making it the best card in the entire game. Safe. This buff absolutely broke Elite Barbarians once again. With higher rates ja. than it had even in December 2016. Das ist krass. Das ist even krass. Even in a different era of the game where you had cards also, like das Mega ist heftig. and Royal Recruits, the Elite Barbarians outshined their December 2016 selves. Die waren noch mal stärker 2021, als sie 2016 waren. Imagine. Dominating the competition. Along with these balance changes as well came a Heal Spirit buff, ultimately leading to an Elixir Golem Battle Healer Elite Barbarian deck shooting up in popularity. Das dumm, das it even had the Rage Spell, making an Elite Barbarian Rage deck popular in the competitive oh, scene God. for the first time ever. The rise of this deck was also in part due to the Bomb Tower nerf, which was implemented at the same time. The Giant Skeleton and Night nerfs also played a significant part in the Elite Barbarian's rise during this time. Das das After a few more days, this Fireball Bait deck also rose to being very ja. popular as well. Das war geil. But it didn't das war stop geil. there. Elite Barbarians were also having success in Golem and Three Musketeer decks. The Elite Barbarians were undoubtedly OP, but this wasn't 2016 ja. anymore, so an emergency nerf was considered. Only Richtig. one week after these balance changes went live, the Elite Barbarians would be the victims of an emergency nerf. Und das ist wichtig, dass Supercell auch einfach über den Schatten gesprungen ist und gesagt hat, yo, wir brauchen Elite Bomber Nerf, super. Hit attack time back to 0.5 seconds. But the card would remain popular for months, consistently remaining above a 20% usage rate. By June, the second and third most popular Elite Barbarian decks were Golem and Three Musketeers. And you won't believe when I tell you the number one most popular Elite Barbarian deck as of June. Das Nummer 1 beliebteste Elite Bomber Deck, was war das? Was war das Nummer 1 beliebteste Elite Bomber Deck? In 2021. Was war das, Chat? Ich kann es gerade mir nicht ganz denken. War das so ein richtig heutiges Elite Bar? War ein Cycle Deck? Ja, ne? June 2021 was a Royal Giant Elite nee, Royal Giant. Okay, crazy. The iconic combo was being used together once again, just like old times, but this time in a competitive environment. The duo had been through so much, going down different paths just to meet up together once again. Even when these cards seem like they're separating to different paths, they always seem to cross once again. These two have just such a connected history. Also, I really want to highlight this little guy. Also, high guys, I'm so busted. At the same time in March 2021 and have been a powerful synergy ever since. You may have noticed that even though the top three Elite Barbarians Decks were different archetypes. Über, über they still Geist. all contained the heal spirit. Ja. Even today, when you look at all the top elite barbarian ja, decks, they all have the heal fast. spirit and vice versa. March 2021 truly bred a powerful, inseparable synergy that I don't think anyone would have expected. This card was still the number one most popular troop in competitive ja. play, consistently Crazy. around a 22% use rate. So come June of 2021, the duo would receive one last nerf. This final nerf is the nerf that puts Elite Barbarians in the position that it remains in today. Supercell has always buffed and nerfed multiple stats at a time when it came to the Elite Barbarians in the past, and now in their most strong state perhaps ever, it logically follows that this pattern would continue. However, Supercell would only nerf one stat, a stat that has never been touched in the history of the Elite Barbarians up to- A stat that nie getouched wurde? Bursted speed? Damage? 
Attack Speed. Auf First Speed wurde doch getoucht, oder nicht? Haben die nicht den Spawn geändert? Sidewind, stimmt, damit wir besser kiten kann, stimmt. Stimmt, das war es richtig, ja. Außer oh, geklappt. Ja. Aber krass, dass sie so lange gebraucht haben, darauf zu kommen. Ja. Das ist krass. Ich glaube, so soll es ungefähr gerade auch sein, tatsächlich. Ja, ja, okay. Barbarians thrive in a multitude of archetypes, including Golem, Hall yeah. Rider, and Three Musketeers. 2016 me would have never thought I would say this, but Elite Barbarians are balanced and healthy for the game. Schauen nach, wie es heute ist. Aspects have been removed, and they're not being overleveled and spammed nearly as much as they used to. I do want to say, though, ever Carter? since they've been in this state, I haven't really been thinking about them as much up until Leto? I started working on this video. They were always such a heavily memed card in Clash Royale and had a stereotypical negative connotation that was always fun to joke about. As much as I think the card is better now, it's just... Boring. I wish they Mega could have worked out a very fast movement speed, but they just couldn't. And maybe they should be boring. It's less toxic for everybody, and after all, they are just yeah. a common card. It's just weird to have such a once so hated card be in the position that it's in today. Sometimes yeah. I do think about the March to June 2021 era as the Elite Barbarians' last blaze of glory before they finally became das a balanced card once and for all. Ja. But man, also jetzt sind sie wirklich balanced. Manche werden sie geschieht, manche yeah. nicht. Hat es wirklich sehr gut gemacht. Lange gebraucht. Aber es ist wirklich heftig, was da in der Vergangenheit abgeht. Elite Barbarians really have always been a special card. One thing I always thought was interesting was the fact that Elite Barbarians were the only card to get a cosmetic change when played. Stimmt, die hatten einen hellen Touchdown. Stimmt, wie geil. But it's interesting how Supercell gave this one card special attention, especially when they didn't have to. And the special attention didn't even stop there, as on November 25th, 2022, Supercell dedicated a special post to the Elite Barbarians because it was their six-year anniversary, and they hadn't done that for any other card before. That's crazy. Even Supercell hadn't forgotten the massive impact. Das ist crazy, genau, weil sie wissen, dass die Karte so relevant ist. <lacht> Stimmt, das kann echt sein, ja. ja. Ich hoffe, du hast eine gute Idee von den Elite Barbarians Impact auf Clash Royale. Sehr, sehr geiles Video. Hat mir sehr gefallen. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, Daumen nach oben lassen. Gerne das Originalvideo in der Beschreibung von Grads auschecken. Danke fürs dabei sein. Haut rein. Bis dann.